Hey gang, just to say hello, uh, Tony Fontana here. You know, it's Memorial Day, right? Um, a lot of people, they, they celebrate Memorial Day with a barbecue or uh, it's another day off. You know, I like to think about it as this. The individuals that died uh, to preserve our way of life here uh, died for a reason. You know, that was their why. That's why they went to war. Did they want to die? No, of course not. Who wants to die? <laughs> well, basically, they they went and they fought to preserve our freedoms. They preserved our ability to achieve our dreams, right? So, you know, what is your dream? I don't know. Uh, you know, I think, you know, if you have a why to live, you can bear anyhow. You can do whatever you need to do to accomplish whatever it is you're dreaming about. Uh, I believe that, you know, you can see things and say why, but I like to look at things and say, you know, well, why not? Especially if they never were. Uh, you know, is your dream really your dream? Is it something that you really, really want? What's your passion, right? Uh, what is your why? Why do you do what you do? Uh, why do you, why do you get up and go to work every single day? Um, you know, do you enjoy what you do? If you're not enjoying what you do, if what you do is not what you planned on doing, uh, be it 10 years ago, uh, or those of you that are older, 30 and 40 years ago, if you're not where you were supposed to be, or where you plan to be, then you have a chance to make some changes, right? You have a chance to make some changes right now. And I think, I think the most important thing is, if you want to be in charge of your life, then you need to decide what it is you want. Don't allow anyone else to control uh, what you set out to accomplish. It's not anyone else's responsibility to determine where you go. Uh, it's your responsibility to figure that out. And, you know, dependent on, you know, maybe you want to put your kids through college. Maybe you just want to make sure that they're set up for life. Maybe you want to be with them more often. Uh, you know, maybe you don't want to work nine to five or even two to five or even, you know, nine to one. Maybe you just want to literally be home with your children. And I know many of you would like that. Uh, I think it's important to understand that you're in charge of your own life. And my goodness, that's the key, isn't it? That's the key right there. You know, maybe you want to help others. Uh, you just want to be at peace, debt-free. I don't know. You have to decide. Uh, you know, you have to determine this in your own mind. You know, achieving your dreams is contingent on no one else. It's but you. It's only on you. There is no one else controlling what you do. And, you know, why not? You know, why not me? Why not right now? My friend Rafael Rojas has said this to me on many occasions. And... He's achieved tremendous success in life. He's also failed hundreds and hundreds of times in life. In fact, he's failed much more than me, which is why he's much more successful uh, than myself. And it's a philosophy that I've been carrying with me now for several years and understanding what that process is, I just think it's important to, to maybe share this with you. Uh, there are two things that are lasting bequests to our children, and uh, one is roots and one is wings, right? Uh, Hiding Carter said this, many, many, many years ago. Uh, it takes a lot of courage to show someone else your dream, right? So just be courageous, be adventurous, be out there, and understand that you can achieve anything you set your mind out to achieve. Be accountable to someone. Uh, I'm accountable to my family. I'm accountable to uh, MJ. I'm accountable to um, a great friend of mine who um, I value tremendously and uh, who basically has... Uh, lit a fire under me to go out and do what I need to do uh, to achieve what um, I need to achieve, which is my personal why. Uh, you know, being accountable to someone and being better than uh, you used to be, I think it's important. We hold each other accountable on a regular basis because I believe strongly that having that connection, that's going to make all the difference in my world and in the world of those around me that are accountable to me. Uh, you know, to keep the, the lamp burning, uh, you gotta put oil in it. You know, Mother Teresa said that, and uh, uh, I think she was pretty good at what she does. And the world doesn't owe you anything. Uh, it owes you nothing. It's been here before you. So I believe that strongly, and uh, there's no question about it, that you have everything here that you need. Uh,